Yo guys, it's Kairos Gaming here. I'm going to do a little video here over some Black Ops 3 footage and it's going to be 5 things you need to know before you buy Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now the new game's coming out in November and we're going to be having a lot of footage from gameplay to zombies and multiplayer. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. But before it does come out, here are 5 things you need to know before you buy the game yourself. Number 1 basic story now the basic story is set in the distant future where earth has been stripped of all its resources and most of the humans are relying on off-world com yeah, colonies so that's basically other worlds that have been colonized i'm assuming and the first video uh, the link is in the description next to number one basic story and that's one of the trailers and it basically shows the settlement defense front now those guys the frankest way to put it they're basically terrorists they're like alien terrorists though now it's not your old school et i come and curse bullshit these guys want to obliterate obli obliterate earth they believe they're the true inheritors of the solar system of humans and they believe that their way of life is to be correct and to be stronger and purer so basically, Earth is fucked, and these guys come down, and if you guys haven't seen the trailer, the link is in the description, they just destroy Earth. They have rockets, flying robots, little spider gadgets, it's just explosions and bullets everywhere. So the second thing you need to know is the protagonists, the main players that you're going to be playing in the storyline mode. So after this attack, you're left with Colonel Lieutenant Reyes and his squad. And I think it's about three or four people and you've got a little robot as well. They have to fight in their battleship and that's called Retribution. Now, now I'm assuming Captain Nick Reyes, that Colonel Lieutenant guy, he's going to be the main protagonist. He's going to be the main hero to save the world from these alien terrorists or whatever's going on Call of Duty nowadays. But yeah, he not to give too much away but in the battleship of retribution you can you can man the battleship you can control it and this game's gonna have a lot of combination of spaceship wars with whilst in spaceships fights in space and ground combat but without revealing too much about the gameplay let's move on to number three that's right you guys guessed it the gameplay the gameplay and the story kind of go hand in hand with this one because of the complexity of the story that these guys are going to fight in a battleship it introduces new features into Call of Duty and that's having a continuous switch from fighting in a battleship in space and back to the ground apparently Call of Duty claim that there's not going to be any loading screens when fighting in a single player normal mode like first person shooter to manning a spaceship or to even fighting in no gravity space they haven't revealed much but we do know that there are quite a few side quests but before you get excited about cod turning a new leaf and being a sort of open worldy game it's not there's just a lot of content and a lot of things to do in the storyline and there's a lot of things going on and also this might make black ops 3 fans a little bit more comfortable and for you advanced warfare fans maybe not because there are no exosuits in this game I think the robots and the gadgets and all the futuristic stuff is enough. Number 4. Now I don't really have a title for this number so I'm just going to get straight into it. In May, early in the year, when the trailer came out, forums and just the internet community of gamers was going crazy and I mean bad crazy. Everyone hated Call of Duty, they were like, oh another space game, why are you doing this? No one really, everyone thought Call of Duty is not Call of Duty anymore. I mean, you look at the trailer and it doesn't really sound like a Call of Duty game. It sounds more like a Halo, futuristic, Titanfall 2 sort of game. Now, all you old school fans there that love the, all the modern warfares and the first Black Ops, don't worry. Although Call of Duty is taking a new direction and literally going into a new stratosphere, storyline and with all the mechanics and the graphics of the game, it's still COD. Now here's one reason why. They're in the hands of Infinity Wars. Infinity Ward. 
Now Infinity Ward has brought everybody's favourite Call of Duty series and that's the Modern Warfare series 1, 2 and 3. Infinity Ward know what they're doing. Now although it seems like Call of Duty is taking on an tangent and it's going in a different direction I think Infinity Ward will still keep that same nostalgia and still keep the basics that made COD COD but it's just going to be in a different setting and I think it, we will still get that old school run and gun combat. Also for you zombies fans the new Call of Duty has a great zombies mode so really it applies to a lot of people if you're an old school Call of Duty fan and you're a little bit skeptical on it you can rely on Infinity Ward to give you the same mechanics as the old COD had also it kind of appeals to a new crowd because of the new type of futuristic and alien storyline and proper going into the future and the zombies mode is really simplistic but I'm not gonna go into too much detail there because that's the next thing last but not last but not least i'm gonna save the best for the last really zombies is my favorite let me know what's your favorite feature in call of duty in the comments but yeah without any further ado zombies now it's a separate storyline and it has separate mechanics for the rest of the game it's like a uh, 80s theme and from the trailers i feel it's a little bit of a forced 80s theme like they're trying really hard to portray oh we're in the 80s blah 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 the rest of the game is in the future and we're in the past ooh love zombies like they're trying really hard the characters or protagonists if you will uh, can consist of four actors now it's an 80s theme but it's an 80s movie style theme and the first map spaceships or oh sorry space lands is actually quite misleading because it's not in space it's like an 80s movie style theme park and the four characters are aspiring 80s actors who are trapped in there by like by their director and he's unleashing all the zombies on them now there's four great characters to pick from and now i'd like to say the four characters like can fit into a broad variety of categories but they're really vagueish characters for example the first character is Point Dexter, so the nerd basically, your typical, typical nerd and I know a lot of gamers will love that and it's a pretty funny character so I look forward to seeing that and then we have Andre the Rapper, it's like an old school 80s rapper with a big gold chain, nice bucket hat, you got him as well. You got Sally the Valley Girl, which I'm not too sure about, the closest thing she was reminding me of was like that crazy chick in the crew like harlequin from suicide squad and last but not least it's the stereotypical jock that's right aj now compared with the treyarch versions of zombies this version of zombies is a lot more simplistic and some of you may like that that call of duty have gone for a less is more approach with the zombies but some of you again might not like that so it's really you like but they have new features on it and I think it's uh, Fate and Fortune cards which are similar to the Gobble Gums in Black Ops 3 for you Black Ops 3 fans there. So it's a And after reading some reviews on the gameplay I got the gist that it's literally the zombies mode this year is just plain guns, explosives, zombie killing fun. I mean what more could you really ask for? Alright guys, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll leave the link in the description. Don't forget about our massive giveaway. Watch the video and find out how you can enter and be at a chance of winning a free PlayStation Virtual Reality.